Hi friends, welcome back to All Unknown Law and this is a quick pediatrics and today's topic of discussion is peritonsillar peritonsillar abscess recently we uploaded a video on right of pharyngeal abscess and this is regarding a peritonsillar abscess so what's a peritonsillar abscess you know very well there is what you call a pharyngeal ma constrictor muscles right and tonsils right so it's nothing but it's an infection occurring in the space between the superior pharyngeal constrictor muscle superior pharyngeal superior pharyngeal constrictor muscle muscle and tonsils okay guys so it's, it's, it's nothing but it's an infection occurring in the space between the superior pharyngeal constrictor muscle and the tonsil so what's the etiology etiology is a GABHS very common and anaerobes okay so how uh, the patient sign and symptoms that's uh, how the patient will present clinical features is it preceded by remember one history there's an acute tonsillopharyngitis ask for this tonsillopharyngitis okay and severe throat pain Christmas okay and the patient will have refusal to swallow or speak. What's the trismus? Trismus is nothing but a limited opening of the mouth. Okay. And remember, the one important point is hot potato. Wise. Very important. This is a really very important point. You should look for this in USMLA or in MRCPCH examination. If they mention hot potato wise, then click peritonsillar abscess as the right answer. Okay. And there is the other features you can see is the ovula displaced to opposite side. Ovula is sent right here. Ovula, you open your mouth and you can see. All right, so it is displaced to the opposite side. See, if this abscess on this side, it will move on to the this side. Okay, right. And uh, this is what you call the, the tonsils can be swollen also. Okay, inflamed and swollen. So how would you diagnose? Just Google the images, a lateral neck X-ray of the what you call. Um, uh, neck and try to look for the space and uh, to make it um, you know to differentiate whether it's a retropharyngeal or peritonsal abscess x-ray is a must remember x-ray is a must okay guys so this is really very important and um, how would you treat it the treatment is by antibiotics that is a penicillin can be given and if the abscess is really very big then go ahead with the incision and drainage id okay that's it for tonight guys Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.